hello 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 ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another chelsea road to glory video and today we finally have some team of the year content i know it's been some two three weeks we're going on to the fourth week now a little bit and uh i would just like to say that it took a very long time for me to finally get over the fact that team of the year was over and that we finally had to cut up the video there has been a lot of days where you know the uh the amount of recording we, that i had to do just had to like take up the time of editing so i didn't have time until just recently because the road to the final promo and, and future stars promo is like chill enough to allow me to like go hey you know i don't have to record today so let me just put out my uh let me let me start editing all the stuff that i have previously and then shift it out kind of like the uh, catch up that we were doing previously so here we are team of the year obviously if you're watching this team of the year is absolutely over it's done yeah, we're good but for those of you that are watching this chronologically along with the rest of the videos you know welcome to team of the year this is the first video of team of the year we're gonna have two of them actually this one is kind of the lightweight stuff because of the fact that you know we were waiting until the full team of the year was in packs we didn't uh and then we i think we waited like a couple more days until the upgrades were out because i i generally just wanted to wait until the premier league upgrades were out so i can start recycling all that stuff and honestly with the amount of team of the years that were packed prior to the full team you know i think the uh, go-to move might have been to open packs early and that's a rare occasion especially for a team of the year because a lot of the a lot of the times when somebody packs the team of the year it will be when the full team is out but there was a lot of stuff going on a lot of people were upset on twitter that the odds were drastically reduced you know uh, i think at some point the odds for a team of the year was like five percent or whatever and then once the full team was out it was down to like two percent and a lot of people were very very upset about that me personally i didn't really care that much about it because for me team of the year has never been the promo where like oh yeah we're we're guaranteed to get one you know we're going to get one team of the year has always been like it is what it is type of promo you know if you get one you get one if you don't you don't you know these cards are very expensive these cards are super hard to pack these cards literally are cards that you stick in your team and you're just done for the rest of the game even even when footies is out even when team of the season is out like if you have a team of the year squad that squad is literally going to be there until the end of the game cycle like you literally don't have to upgrade anymore if you have full team of the years or a team of the year in a certain spot um, so i'm not going to give you any spoilers about anything that's coming up you know this is a chill introduction to team of the year obviously on the thumbnail it should be the uh, sam kerr team of the year it should be the kevin de bruyne seven uh team of the year and it should be the millie bright team of the year which i'm super happy that sam kerr and millie bright actually got into the team of the year uh considering how the chelsea men are doing obviously they were not gonna get in at it at at all so my my hope was was basically down to the to the chelsea women's and they delivered you know sam kerr that card looks absolutely fantastic the millie bright card looks pretty freaking good too um you know i can't really complain obviously some people say like oh she's a she's a woman at center back she's probably gonna have a bad job um so we'll see if we can get either of those two in this video or the next video uh for right now uh i think the most like bother something about team of the year was the amount of 83s and 84s that i had that i simply just could not like figure out a good spot to put them in obviously we had the team of the week to to do but then once the team of the week got repetitive uh to the point where like we're getting duplicate team of the weeks like where am i supposed to put those team of the weeks because the the upgrades that were out that require team of the weeks literally were running out that fast with all the stuff we were recycling because we would literally not let any card go to waste if it was a non-rare it went into the non-rare section for upgrades uh, if 
if it was a rare, depending on the rating, it went into upgrades or it led to something that would give us an upgrade. But, you know, here we are. We we uh, we recycled everything and we got Ashley Cole as our first big SBC, our first big card into the team. I'm super happy. Um, I know Balak is like our first technically icon SBC or whatever, but Ashley Cole is 100% him i'm so excited and happy that we actually got him into the team and with that ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna leave you with that thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next video peace